What's up guys, this is Big D, and I am the Grim Rider. I am out with a couple members of the club, you can see them directly right in front of me, and I have a couple right behind me as well. Uh, it's a uh, late afternoon, I am out on the Undertaker, and we're taking a little group ride. And I figure this would be a good time to talk about and answer some questions that I got just the other day. Uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Jeremy Davis, had left a comment asking a few different questions, and uh, I appreciate that very much. I appreciate you uh, watching all my videos and uh, your comments and supporting the channel as well as myself. Uh, but the questions were uh, about my riding club, and he asks, what made us start a club as opposed to being just riders? How did we get started? as well as how do we all know each other. So I'm going to try to answer all that right here, and that's going to include a little backstory and a little history of our chapter as I go along. So to begin with, um, I have to go right back to the very start when I first started riding, and I did talk about this uh, in uh, a little more detail uh, in a separate video that I had done. I'll place a link to that about how I got started uh, riding motorcycles. But when I did start to ride, I didn't know anybody else that rode motorcycles. It just piqued my interest. I wanted to get into riding motorcycles, and uh, so I looked at getting uh, uh, doing a uh, training class and getting my endorsement. And uh, once I got my endorsement, I got my first bike, and, and uh, I started riding. Several of my other family members uh, got involved with motorcycles at the exact same time. So we started uh, doing a little bit of riding together uh, at that point, but it, it was just us family members, and we, we didn't know anybody else really outside of that that, that owned motorcycles in that, in that road. So um, one of my cousins uh, at that time decided that he wanted to look into uh, joining some kind of uh, club and he was doing some research and he was just kind of browsing around and and he came across in a search online the club that I am still currently a part of to this day and it is this this group that I'm riding with today and we are the Freedom Cruisers Riding Club and he looked into him a bit more realized that there was a chapter that was local to us and uh, decided that uh, he wanted to sign up and uh, get a hold of their chapter president and uh, you know see what it was really all about and uh, after he had done that a few more of us had followed suit including myself and my brother and um, I believe my cousin's brother also did and as long as uh, as well as a few others and um, in a very short time uh, several of us we uh, we had met a couple of the members from that chapter and um, I I'm not going to uh, say anything negative uh, about them it's just uh, once once we met them and rode with them a few times and not only that they weren't extremely local they were a little ways away from us to start with um, but we uh, we felt that once we got to riding with them, we took some of what we learned from riding with them and we figured that we can incorporate that uh, where we lived, closer to home, and, uh, you know, take those things that we learned uh, as well as th uh, a few things that we felt that uh, sh maybe could have been done a little bit differently and uh, start our own chapter. And so that's what we did. And so I want to preference uh, to answering one of those questions. Um, that was what made us start the club. We didn't start this club. We joined this club. We started our chapter. But this club, the Freedom Cruisers, is nationwide from coast to coast. So uh, if that is something that anybody that is watching this is interested in, then you can go online. They have a website, and I'll put a link uh, to that also down in the description. It has our club guidelines, and it has a page that you can see all of the different chapters across all the different states, and it also lists all the different presidents uh, for those chapters as well as their phone numbers and email addresses so that if you have any questions, if you, again, 
uh, are interested in this uh, and you wanted to uh, get in touch with a local chapter or just see if there is one near you, you can get in touch with that president and you can ask them anything that you want to ask them and get whatever information uh, that it is that you need to know uh, to see that, uh, that you are uh, interested in this. Um, but uh, so we started our chapter in uh, January of 2012. And again, at, at first, it was just us few family members. And uh, very shortly after, we, because that information that I just gave, uh, you know, our chapter was then listed uh, on this website, and uh, along with uh, the president's phone number, and um, we just started getting some interest from other local riders in our area, and then they started to come in, and it was at that point that. Uh, our chapter started to grow a little bit and uh, then we really started to learn what it really meant to ride in a group as far as riding in formation and uh, you know learning that everybody rides a little bit differently some people have been riding for many years some uh, had just been starting and so you got different experience levels there and so we we had to um, ride with each other for a while in order to understand uh, exactly how it was that each of us rode and and uh, also according to uh, the guidelines set by our chapter how we're supposed to ride and how you know we're supposed to conduct ourselves out in public and you know all of those different kind of things what's allowed what's not allowed and just you know really just start to put the pieces together to make this uh, chapter flow and and function to the best of its ability and so um, that's kind of how we started and so as far as that last question how do we all know each other well that, I guess I kind of sum that up already every single uh, person every guy and gal that I'm actually currently riding with right now uh, I met because we had started this chapter back in 2012 and not only have I met some amazing people, uh, I have had some amazing experiences with those people. I, and, and a lot of those experiences I probably would not have uh, I, I would not have had if it weren't uh, being a part of this group. Um, several of our trips, like down in the Smoky Mountains or up in the upper peninsula of Michigan or to Wisconsin or several other things that we had done even a couple of events and things um, several of them I may have never known about or at least I wouldn't have known about um, for some time and some of these trips I probably at least at first uh, wouldn't have been uh, comfortable with riding that sort of distance by myself being that I'd never done it before so since I had uh, several other guys and gals that I rode with and had been riding with for a few years at that point we start taking you know these bigger longer trips and I got somebody with me and they have somebody with them you know it's vice versa it goes both ways but there are uh, uh, a lot of benefits to then uh, riding with you know several different people like this so um, because of riding with these people and, and meeting these guys and gals and some of these experiences, you know, the, the fact that we had started this chapter um, almost 10 years ago now was one of the best decisions uh, that we had made and that I had made and to have stuck with it for this long. Um, I am one of the two only remaining, uh, I guess, founding members uh, of the chapter that remains and uh, it, it's to to have stuck with it this long and to to meet all these guys uh, has been a real blessing in my life. And uh, so, with that being said, um, uh, as far as those questions go, I hope that answers all of them. Now, I want to uh, uh, then uh, say, as far as maybe wrapping this video up, I I also know that you know riding with a club isn't for everybody. Uh, I do believe that there is a club out there for everybody if you were willing to look and if you really are interested. There are so many uh, different clubs out there, not just riding clubs like 
like ours, but of course there's the the MCs and there's also uh, the clubs that are uh, like dealer and brand specific. Obviously, like Hog for Harley's or um, the V Star Riders and things like that. Um, e even if you're a lady and you want to just be involved with other women that ride, there are all female clubs out there, riding clubs and and such. So I think there is something out there in the motorcycle community for everybody if you're just willing to look and if you are really that uh, interested in uh, getting involved in a club there is something out there um, not every club is for everybody uh, so if it is something that you want to look into uh, again uh, a lot of information can be found online these days uh, and uh, if somebody that you know other fellow riders are involved with clubs or know other people that are involved in clubs just just talk to people talk to people within the community and uh, as far as uh, riding clubs and stuff like mine you can easily uh, get information to to talk to somebody just on their websites and um, you know you can feel free with uh, some of these clubs I'm not gonna speak for every club I don't personally know obviously I do know about ours I've been doing this a while with ours but every club is a little different obviously so I don't want to speak for uh, you know all the different clubs out there because every club is run a little bit differently and I don't have the upfront knowledge uh, of any of them to speak with facts and even if I did some of them I probably uh, wouldn't talk about anyway it's not my place but the information is out there is really all I'm saying here and if uh, it is something you are interested in you know uh, talk to a couple different clubs um, there are so many out there and uh, for instance like our chapter our club if you want to get in touch with us and just ride with us once or twice and if you know you decide that hey you know this was awesome I had a great time I can really see you know getting involved with this these are great people I want to I want to you know continue with this then you can sign up at that point or if you decide to ride with us and uh, you uh, decide you know what maybe this isn't for you uh, then you know by all means you don't have to sign up and and you can look into a a, a different club you know something else that might suit your interest uh, a little bit more so you know there's something out there for everybody there's uh, there's so many clubs out there and from just my personal experience with this chapter uh, being a part of this club the people that I've met the experiences that I've had the places that I've gone the things that I have done uh, has just made my writing experience overall over these past 10 years has just been a blast I wouldn't trade it for anything and you know I still to this day look forward to the future uh, with who else I might meet and what else I might experience where else I might ride just making memories and uh, it's you know again it's just been a blast and and I wouldn't trade it for anything uh, so I hope that answers those questions and I hope you uh, uh, got a little bit of information out of this if you like this video hit the like button Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to become part of the Grim Crew if you're not subscribed already so that you don't miss out on future moto vlogs, uh, ride videos, road stories, uh, or anything else that it is I decide to do. And uh, with that being said, uh, we are going to continue on down the road. Uh, so with that being said, I am Big D. I am the Grim Rider, and until next time, we'll catch you down the road.